An alarming new report from the CDC. RSV cases are on the rise here in Florida. The State Department of Health is now monitoring increased cases of the respiratory illness infecting children under the age of five. In the Bay Area, this common infection shows up between September and April. ABC Action News reporter Jasmine Stiles goes in depth on why one doctor believes we're seeing this spike and how daycare providers are remaining extra vigilant. When the pandemic first hit, the staff at Imagination Station in St. Pete upped the ante when it came to sanitizing. We have a nightly fumigation system that comes through and fumigates our building, our toys, any touchable areas um, for the children the night before they arrive. Jackie Lang owns the daycare, and after hearing about an increase in respiratory syncytial virus cases, or RSV, She's tightening restrictions on sick kids. The children that come in with the common runny noses and a cough, we're asking the parents to keep the children at home until they are symptom free. According to the CDC's emergency alert, the South is seeing a spike in cases. The agency's data shows on average every year, RSV hospitalizes 58,000 kids under the age of five, killing 100 to 500 of them. We weren't really expecting to see this surge. Dr. John Perpich has worked as a pediatric pulmonary specialist for the past 15 years. Each region of Florida has a different RSV season. Ours typically starts in September and ends in April. According to the Florida Department of Health, there's about a 7% positivity rate for children under five who were diagnosed with RSV at an ER or urgent care. During that, that time period, during September, October, you know, through March, uh, and even into April, we never even got above 8%. We were usually two, four, 6% at the highest. Now, Dr. Perpich says we're at 35%, when normal ranges would put us between 10 and 25%. Here's his theory on why we could be seeing an out of season increase. I presume it's related to, you know, uh, kind of loosening of, of mask uh, mandates, loosening of, of just general, you know, behaviors a little bit and, and bringing our children together in, in groups. RSV presents symptoms of a common cold or allergies, but Dr. Perpich says there are a couple red flags. Basic kind of some tugging or, or sucking in at the top of their chest, kind of right below the throat or in between the ribs. We, we call those that retractions, but that's just indicating that they're they're working hard to breathe. Sometimes I tell moms it's like they sound a bit like Darth Vader. He says some children are more vulnerable to contract RSV than others. That includes kids who were born prematurely, have congenital heart disease, have chronic lung disease, and have neuromuscular weakness. If you have an infant with any of those illnesses, Dr. Perpich says you should talk to your pediatrician about a monthly shot called Synergis. It sort of prevents the virus from binding and causing infection. But just like COVID-19, you can decrease your child's chances of contracting RSV with some tried and true practices. Hand washing, sanitizing those solid surfaces, and possibly sort of making some choices around not having large play dates. I'm Jasmine Stiles, ABC Action News.